okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have successfully created the address and also we are displaying all the addresses of the user on the user profile so now before editing the address or deleting the address I also have to handle uh, my errors and also I have to protect my backend API for my unauthenticated users so in this video I will create my error middleware that will handle all the errors first of all and then we will protect our API endpoint from the unauthenticated users so we know that we have installed a package that is called next connect that will help us to handle our routing very efficiently okay so if i scroll down you can see that here with this handler we can use here on error and with this function we will have access to the error request response and next and with that we can handle our errors okay so we will use this on error uh, with the next connect and that will handle all the errors for us okay so what i do is i will create a separate Added middleware and I will add that in this uh, NC which is in next connect so let me show you how it will work I simply go back to my uh, VS code and then I go here in the components sorry in the backend create a new folder with the name middlewares middlewares and I will rename it so middlewares now that I create a new file that is called uh, errors.js so we know that uh, here we have this okay so i copy that from here okay so this is the function i will type here export default uh, the function with the error request response and then the next so in that we can simply first of all have to get two things one is the status code and is the error message so err dot status code that is going to be err dot status code okay so i will set the status code and if the status code is not there then by default it is going to be 500 which is internal server error okay so this is for the status code and then i simply type here let error and i will spread in here the error um here okay so we will create a copy of the error here and then I will set the error message. So error dot message is going to be err dot message. Okay. Or you can say that um, internal server error. So if the message is not there, and by default the message is going to be internal server error. So we will set the error message and then the status code. And then I can actually type here the error dot status code is going to be this or the 500 internal server error okay so now we have our error code here error message here now we can simply return the response here so i type here res dot status and i will pass in here the error dot status code okay and then dot json in that i will simply pass in here the success is going to be false okay then I will pass in here my error and then the message that is going to be error dot message and then I will add here this tag the error stack that is going to be error dot stack save it so this is our middleware okay we will set the um, status code and an internal server error and now to use that I will simply go to my uh, pages in the API and go to auth in the register we know that this is next connect we can pass in here the on error so I will simply import here import on error from uh, the backend backend slash middlewares slash the errors middleware and then I will type in here on error like this so if there will be any error it will automatically handle that okay and to test that if I go back to my postman so if I select here post okay then I type here this URL that is slash API slash auth slash register if I click here send you can see that here we get our own message so success is false then in the error we have the, all the errors the validation errors for the name email and then the password then we have here the message which is uh, user validation fail, uh, fail please enter name email and the password 
now we can basically uh, modify these um, validation errors according to our own uh, you can say that format okay further we can modify that and for that I will get my own custom error handler okay so I go in the backend in the utils and create a new file that is called error handler.js now in that I will create my class with the name error handler okay that will extend uh, the error okay so this is the inheritance we will inherit from our uh, parent class which is the error which is a default class then I will create here my constructor I hope that you know the basics of OOP I will have here my error message and then the status code okay now I will call here the super super is the constructor of the parent class or you can say that super is the constructor of this error class okay in that I will pass in here the message and then I will set here this dot status code that is going to be status code that we will pass then I will simply error dot capture uh, capture stack trace we will set in here this and this dot constructor okay and that is going to be the um, we have to actually type that inside the constructor like this okay so we will use this capture stack trace function from the error in that we have to simply uh, pass in here the targeted object which is this and then the uh, constructor options so in that we will pass this dot constructor which is this one okay so it will handle all that for us simply save it now this is our custom error handler in that we can pass in here our message and the status code and it will throw the error in our own format so if I close this from here now to use that I simply go to my error middleware okay I will simply type here now we know that this is validation error so you can see that this is a validation error so what I can do here is I can simply check that if the error name is validation error then we have to um, throw the message in our own format so what we can do is just we can simply check here that if uh, the error dot name is equal to validation error then we can simply type in here the message that is going to be object dot values okay we will pass in here the error dot errors remember that we have here error dot errors okay and then I will map through on all values and for each value um, I will actually put on here the value dot message okay in each uh, validation error we have the message that please enter your name please enter your email and like that okay so now we have our message here we can simply now set in here error that is going to be new error handler in that I will pass in here the message and the status code that is going to be 400 if I simply save it from here now if I go back and click on send uh, um, so we have some issue here that is um, reference error handler is not defined so we have to import the error handler first of all so import uh, actually we also have to export that from here so that is going to be export default error handler save it and now I can import that error handler right here simply save it now if I go back and click on send you can see that here now uh, we get here the message that please enter name please enter email and then please enter password so we get here a single a message like this okay and the status code is 400 and this is the one validation error we can also handle more like the duplicate key error okay so I go here in the row in the JSON if I type here my details like now if I click here send uh, you can see that here we get this message that this is a duplicate key error okay we can also customize that according to our needs okay so to customize this message I can simply go here I will copy this from here and I type here that if error dot code here we have the error dot code which is this 11,000 if that is 11,000 this means that is a duplicate key error so I will simply type here uh, backticks then duplicate then I have to add here 
the value okay so th this is the email so I will use here uh, object this one dot keys okay now in the keys I will pass in here the err dot key value so key value like this okay so we know that this is the key value which is the email okay so now if I simply save it go back if I click here send now you can see that here we get our own custom message that duplicate email enter okay so we have used that key which is the email so in this way you can definitely handle and customize more errors according to your needs I hope that you understand so um, if I go back on the Chrome if I log out from here okay I go here in the register I type here Gulam one and type here this uh, name and if I click here register you can see that here we're getting our custom message that duplicate email entered so this means that our error handling is working properly on the front end as well you can see that here is our error message okay so I hope that you understand what we have discussed in this video we have discussed all about error handling if you have any question you can post that in the comment section I will reply there and also you can find the source code of this video in the description of this video now in my next video I will protect my backend API routes from the unauthenticated users